Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see how to work with the Flutter local notification plugin and to be able to do that, go ahead and install it and then do pubget. And after that, come to this main.dart file over here. And at the very top, we are going to create an object of this Flutter local notification plugin. So this is our object. And make sure at the top you input the package. And this is our main function. Now we'll go ahead and create my app. Okay, well, let's go ahead and import material package. And now we need to go ahead and create my home page. So this is our simple home page stateful class. And uh, over here inside, I have this box decoration and then scaffold, ever center. And inside it, I have this elevated button. And if we run it, actually, it would look like this. Now we'll go ahead and create a new Dart file. And Dart file name is naughty.dart. You can call it anything you want. Here, we'll create a class and we'll call it naughty. You can call it anything you want. And after that, we are going to create a method. The method name is initialize. Now what this method would do, it will first grab the notification plugin object. So we have to pass it down to it. And then we'll initialize our Android settings where we mentioned the icon as well as our iOS settings. And based on these two settings, we create a new settings object. And after that, we pass it to the local notification plugin, which is over here. Okay, now this initialize method is coming from notification plugin object. Now you may wonder what is this? Now let me show you. So this is inside your Android folder and inside app and inside source, main, res, and as you see, min map. So it refers to this one and over here we have an icon. So this is the icon that we are referring. If you don't have, if you don't refer to the right folder, it will have errors so it could be any folder you want but it should be inside this okay so over here we need to call this method from our ui so that our initialize methods get called to be able to do that we need to come to our home page over here and inside this init state method here we'll call naughty dot initialize now let's go ahead and import the library and after that, we need to grab this object over here because this is the one that we want to send and the error should be gone. So with this, we are almost ready with the basic setup. Now we need to go ahead and create a method that would be called as we click on the button. Now there's this button. We want to click on this and show the notification. So to do that over here, we created a new method. The method name is show big text notification. And over here we are passing ID, but this is optional. Then we have title, string, payload, and another record argument, which is the plugin object. Okay, and based on that over here, actually we created a Android platform specific items, which is it requires the channel name, uh, channel ID, channel name, whether you want to play the sound or not. And where if you want to play a customized sound, then in this case, what sound you are going to use and the other settings. Okay, for now, we are going to comment it out. And after that, based on this object, we are going to create a new object. And but we need to pass it to the notification details function. And at the same time, we are passing iOS settings. And once that is done, we call this FLN, the notification plugin object, the one that we send over here and that has a method which is called show now over here we are actually passing title body and the object that we created so the idea is you have to pass title body and based on that you create platform specific object and once that is done you take that object to create another new object now you can also create iOS objects. So together you create a new object and then you pass it to the function, which is called show, and then it should work. So we are with this, we are almost ready. So over here, we'll come inside this. Now over here, we have this elevated button and from this elevated button, we'll create a, we will call this function, the function that we just created. So we'll call it naughty.show big text, this one, okay? Now over here, we need this title, okay? And now over here, we need to pass this object, the object that we created at the top. Let's grab this and send it over here, okay? Now, 
before we go ahead and restart our app, I would suggest you one thing. So make sure in your Android manifest.xml over here, have your channel name as well as this notification click. So this one and this one should be very important. So one thing I'm going to do before we launch it, I'm going to take the name from here and copy it over here. So I'm making sure that the channel names are same over here and in our class okay so now let's go ahead and run our app and let's go ahead and click on this and we see that this is the message and it already works let's click on this one more time while in this case first we need to go ahead and change the message title we would say new message title okay and here is our app let's restore it now click on this and we see that new message title and it works. One thing though, if you want to be able to work with sound, now the app itself has default sound, Flutter framework. So in this case, you have to be careful about the channel name. A lot of time, first time when you create a channel name, it doesn't work. So you can change it randomly and it should work. Okay, only time that the sound doesn't work because your channel name is the same. So if it doesn't work, sometimes you want to create a unique channel name. Any kind of string ID is okay. And if you want to work with your default, if you don't want to work with the default sound and you want to have your own sound, then go ahead and have this option over here. And inside this method, you should have your notification, you should have your sound name. So this is our sound name. So in general, we want the sound to be inside this raw folder, okay? So it is app main res and raw, and inside this, you'll put your notification sound, whatever it is. So a lot of time, the folder is not there, so you have to go ahead and create this folder and put it there, and you should be good to go. Do remember, here, you don't put mp3, okay? Just the name, that's fine. And once again, over here, once again, over here, the name is has to be very unique. So you need to change it a few times and then eventually you see that it will work. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, because I'm on simulator, in my simulator, the notification sound doesn't work. So I'm going to show it to you on my backend, on my real device, actually. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so over here we have this backend and we are going to send notification from our backend and from here as we do it and we'll see that we have a notification over here. Let's go ahead and click on this. Okay, and we see that we have sound. We click on this and it takes us to a new route over here. Now we'll put our app like this on the foreground one more time. Let's go ahead and click on this and we'll send a notification and we see that it popped up and we click on this it takes us to a new route so that's how your notification and sound works together thank you